What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video and just uh, hopefully a short one, just another patch notes from Undisputed, uh, some gameplay changes, some boxer changes, as well as just a little update from them. So not going to waste any time, let's just get into it. They put right off the rip, um, hey fight fans, blow the patch notes for the update, so on and so forth. This update contains a small change, see below, that should improve the amount of desync some players are seeing online. We want to take this opportunity to reiterate that online matchmaking and stability are ongoing areas of focus for us. And getting online play to a place we're happy with is going to take time, so we appreciate your patience. For me, it's just the desync and the ping at the moment. Sometimes it's fantastic, but the last three days it's been terrible for me. Uh, and then the next bit they put is um, somewhat related to that, we've seen reports of players encountering cheaters. I don't believe they've seen some reports, I think they've seen a shit ton of reports if they could put that, when playing casual or ranked matches online. The best thing you can do if you run into someone obviously cheating is to use the report function at the end of the match. We monitor reports and will begin taking action against players who we know to be cheating while we work on longer term solutions. I could definitely see an anti-cheat coming out mid next month to be honest to kind of cut down on the amount of cheaters we are seeing. And then after that we've got two categories. We've got gameplay changes and then we've got boxer changes which the boxer changes there's a lot but there's a lot of little ones. So the gameplay changes there's three of them and you've got reduce the overall impact that accuracy, punches thrown, counter punches, and defense has on how judges score a fight. This is an effort to produce a fairer scoring result. Some judges still value these things over punches landed, but he less heavily than before, which is great because accuracy was just, you could just win. You could land one punch and run away and you could win the whole round. The next one is made adjustments to punch tracking to make slipping and dodging more viable. Thank you because the punch tracking was getting a bit silly. And then the final one is improve the way we handle arm fatigue online, which we hope will reduce some amount of desync players are experiencing. As I've said before with the desync, it is a nightmare. We know this, but it's just that balance, and they've got to find it, it. It's not just it's not just a one and done. You know, they've got to find the balance for it. It's gonna be a pain, but the fact that they're they're actively trying and, and updating the game is 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 good enough news for me right now. Now, boxer changes. This is huge. The first boxer change is Muhammad Ali. The overall has been reduced from 94 to 93 with his power punch moving from 89 to 84, his right hand power moving from 92 to 89, and his left hand power moving from 88 to 87. I assume that's in, in uh, hopes to make him less overpowered. Then we've got Sugar Ray Robinson at welterweight, overall rating reduced from 92 to 91. Sugar Ray Robinson at middleweight, Overall rating reduced from 92 to 91. And again, Sugar Ray Robinson at lightweight. Overall reduced from 92 to 91. And they're said on all three of these with minor adjustments made across a range of stats. And then we get into the female divisions and the female fighters. Now, one thing I'm going to say is these, all these female fighters need to be completely restatted. I think whoever done it, they just gave everyone an 80 and then just said, all right, let's just up the people we know. I don't believe there's much thought put into it, and I, that may seem rude, but I, I think that there are so many, like, Sophie Ullish and Ibani Bridges both being, like, that same overall. It doesn't really make sense to me, but that's just me. Anyways, uh, but anyways, the first fighter they've put is Natasha Jonas. Changed her fight stance to southpaw, added the sting like a bee and KO as traits, and changed her fight style to outside fighter. Then you've got Sophie Ullish, added the untouchable trait, and changed her fight style to outside fighter. Ebony Bridges added the right hand bomb and KO as traits, changed her fight style to slugger. Chantel Cameron added the sting like a bee and punches in bunches traits. Terry Harper added the bombs away and distance keeper traits, also changed her fight style to outside fighter. Jessica McCaskill added the bombs away and granite chin traits. Delphine Pearson added the tireless and third win traits and changed her fight style to swarmer. Cecilia Bracus added the distance keeper trait, and finally Katie Taylor changed her fight style to Swarmer. No stat changes in the female divisions. I think there needs to be some serious balancing done, but I like to see the additions of traits, even though a lot of them are just the same, really, bombs away, distance keeper, you know, because the traits right now are super limited, and I do believe they still need to do more than they are doing right now. Um, in terms of the traits' effectiveness, sometimes the traits feel completely useless. Um, but anyways... A good update, uh, a good amount of changes. I uh, hope that you guys, you know, I hope this has been helpful for you guys because I know not everyone reads them or goes onto Twitter or the Discord. But we'll have to see which direction this takes the game. How will this help with Ali and Sugar Ray Robinson spam? How will this help with desync and, you know, not being able to slip and dodge and stuff like that? We'll have to see. But um, I'm sure I'll, I'm going to carry on playing. You know, I've, I've had a couple of days off because it's just not been that fun the last couple of days. The game has been a bit of a letdown, really. 
um, because the connection's been so shit. The desync has been terrible. The the tracking is is like fun when when you are landing, but when you're getting landed on, that's not fun, and it goes both ways in boxing. So it's just yeah. Um, I'm hoping though that some of these things are balanced out, and hopefully I'll be able to get some more hours in. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.